Yes, yes, yes. Right. I feel like I feel like we know each other more in all honesty now. So I feel oh, like yeah, this one'll sure. be this one will be a little bit more fun. Cause I the last know. time we did it, it was the first time like I'd ever met Spencer or really like talked to you, even if it was just over the phone. Oh so, yeah, y'all were in person last time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the in the in the home studio. There you go. Um yeah, Brian <laughs> didn't make the the trip out. So thanks. Thanks. Okay, well, to be fair, that trip started at like 9 p.m. at night, and yeah. it ended with you staying at your girlfriend's house, and it would have ended with me driving back to town. You could have, and you I could, it could have ended with you and Jude's Jude's house, um, snuggling up. Well, I mean, he, you're a UT fan. He has UT gear. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, cool. I didn't want to curse. <laughs> It's all right, man. That was I'm gonna, quick. I'm gonna bleep that out. Okay. Never <laughs> have I heard uh well that very seldomly have I heard Jude ever curse on his own show. The second he gets in here though, <laughs> not He's even a, it's a, it's all pent up. It's all not pent even, up swear words. And then, <laughs> right when he gets in, it's just released. We're <laughs> geez. We're bleeping that out for my for my uh I don't know future endeavors. There you go. Nah, that's okay. It's you're not. It wasn't controversial. It wasn't like a Michael Pendergraft statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you yeah. were just you were just talking. Yeah, but. some of those things on cover the line. I enjoy it, but I'm just he. You know, you called him. He's definitely you called him a jihad terrorist one time, Ryan. And oh, he's, well, he's, I did not. He's <laughs> he's definitely like of words. <laughs> my man is that that was spot on. He's, gonna, he's a word he's going, terrorist. He's going on the holy war. <laughs> he is a word He's fighting terrorist. the good fight. <laughs> is it the good but, fight, but, though, or is it just, yeah, it's just a, fight. a fight? It's just a fight in his head, right? <laughs> it's just it's, it's just a war in his mind. I, oh, God. It's, <laughs> in the words of Mike, it's, it's the info war. <laughs> he is the info Dude. war. <laughs> he is the info war. Dude, I saw a video speaking of that of uh of alex jones recently and it was like him like re responding to people's names it was pretty funny like so you know they're naming like people like julian assange Ed edward snowden like hillary yeah. mm -hmm. and and so they're like you know julian assange edward snowden he's like patriot and then they're like <laughs> they're like they're like hillary clinton he's like vampire <laughs> they're like bill gates he's like eugenicist <laughs> He's just a weird dude. <laughs> it was, it was fun. That video. Wait, I'll did you see that? that to you. It's pretty like the, funny. The two minute clip of him saying he's gonna eat his eat, eat your ass. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was insane. That was so funny. I'm sorry. Aww. I feel left out. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you didn't know this. He's like, well, I didn't. He's know like, I will eat my neighbors. I will chop up and skin my neighbors. <laughs> he's talking about like post apocalyptic scenarios yeah. that nobody. Yeah. It's like he just brought it up on his own, like yeah. just just to do it. So. Yeah, he said know. afterwards it was like, it was like um I forget exactly how it actually kind of made sense. He was saying it was like satire for like um, just like making for like the people who are like shedding light on like the people who are like actually like a lot of people that have like lost their jobs and gone homeless. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, yeah, but it, no, he's just crazy. There, there was no, there's no like moral, <laughs> I, there's no moral <laughs> reasoning to anything he does. He's just crazy. He knows how to make headlines though. That it, that is an opinion of it. Spencer. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. he's a uh, he's a weird guy. No, that's not true. So, <laughs> I don't. not sure. I didn't hear what it happened, but we'll you know. He said any talk. publicity is good publicity. It's not. Oh my gosh, it's not. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. Not. Okay, unless you uh, like killed. I'll roll with. I'll roll with boy Spence on this one. Yeah, it's not. Ugh. Um, something that is not so violent. Um, or political. Uh, that was the most political start we, jump we've ever had to a show. Yeah, I was um, just trying to talk about a funny video. I, but I kind of made fun of y'all before this because, and everybody who's like freaking out about it, but this E60 Alex Smith documentary, if you want to call it that. Oh, yeah. And I, I know that if I watch it, there's going to be like details that uh, I'll learn, right? But mm -hmm. overwhelmingly, I just kind of assumed like, what what all are they going to show because this kind of happened in real time over the course of the last several years okay well like i knew what was going on largely but the doc shows you like behind the scenes footage from the doctors and they show you an actual picture of his leg after everything is done and it's disgusting yeah but, but you can just throwing. see 
Yeah, he's trying to make a comeback. He's doing like and like I reps. said, uh, I sent this in the group text. If he if he comes back and plays a down of football, no matter what the outcome, he could throw an interception. He could break his he leg can again. Break his leg. <laughs> it's going to be the greatest comeback of all time. One hundred percent, I agree. Because I look, I was in the dark. Because y'all know me, like I'm really kind of just getting back into the NFL. I've kind of been disillusioned for a couple mm-hmm. years, so I had no idea. <laughs> Like, I went into that, and I was like, what? Like, that was the first time I was seeing that. So, I mean, seeing his leg like that, man, that was pretty crazy. I But shout out to him for, like, not amputating it. And now, oh, yeah. like, regardless of if he plays football again, the fact that he that's even, like, a sliver of a possibility is just insane with his circumstances. But the fact that he can like run around and play with his kids and, you know, still have his leg oh, yeah. uh, is pretty freaking amazing. So like having, a, having a leg is pretty cool. I like, did I, you, I, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. How did you We're feel polite. about um, when his, when his wife wanted to amputate? Yo, I mean, I get it. I get it. She wanted him to freaking live, dude. Like, he was, he had flesh eating bacteria. Like, I mean, that's her opinion. But yeah, I mean, obviously she was cool. I mean, she was, she, (laughs) I mean, he was, she was cool with him keeping his leg too. It wasn't like she was mad at him for like, why didn't you cut your leg off? Like, you know what I'm saying? She was okay with him keeping the leg. (laughs) She was, she was just okay with him keeping the leg. (laughs) She wanted to be married to a peg leg dude. Dude, she was like, I, cool. I have a thing for robo legs. Well, dude, robo legs are like so. Like fifty years ago, if you had to opt for like a prosthetic uh, leg, it was it's just not not cool. Yeah. But now, force yeah, fools stuff. stuff. Yeah, you got fools running like uh, Olympic races with uh, these robo legs, and dude, that's an it's advantage. Like, yeah, it becomes like a human advantage. They're cheating essentially. At these what point? At what point end? are cyborgs going to be allowed in the NFL? For real. Dude, that's that's I, the you know after every NFL player gets Neuralink, it's over. I showed you guys my calves and they look pretty good, but um, you know those legs are different. Yeah. It's just different. Wait, so those are real legs? I thought you had a. I thought you had the calves replaced with. I, I know they look like implants, but they're not. Yeah, you got them, them Alex there. Smith implants. Yo, did you see like his brace too? Going back to that, like yeah. how it's like a full like, you don't even see his leg like. I haven't ever seen a race like that, but I'm just seeing him run around with his kids was honestly like, I was like, life is good. No, after I saw that, I tweeted, I was like, God bless Alex Smith. Like, because that, that is, I mean, what a dude. I feel bad for him too. Like his whole career, he's just been like crapped on every time he's like got to a position where he can have success other than when he beat the Saints that one year's half face. I actually did watch that. He's really good. No, yeah, like, he's good. Like that's people the thing. don't he's realize mobile. how good at football he is. Yeah, but but would you even want to come back? Like I, I no, I, I thought I'm about that. No way. Like you went from almost losing your leg, like just you won, you Ooh. won. You don't. But need I to think prove a point. I get, I get where he's coming from though. Like he feels like you know what? I put in all this work, like, and there was no way, like, like probably for him, he's like, I didn't think that this, like, I was going to get to where I'm at now. So why not just try to get back on the field? Yeah, like the I, team who I signs him has from. to feel terrible if something goes wrong. Yeah. But at the same time, like he's committing to that. You know what I'm saying? But I would know. Yeah. I would feel awful too, because honestly, the first thing I was thinking, I was like, dog, what if he gets back on that football field and like chase young or somebody in practice, if he's still at the Redskins just takes out his, <laughs> well, that wouldn't happen in, in practice because they'd probably protect him. But somebody you know i don't know aaron donald or somebody that they're playing just goes low for the tackle and his leg just explodes on the field or something yeah. like <laughs> yeah it's a lot like ryan shazier it's like you know it'd be cool to see them make a comeback yeah but then again it wouldn't because i don't know if i want to see how that ends Dude, ryan, yeah. ryan shazier has a hard time thinking straight he can't play football well that's why he that's why he can't think straight he always comes back in madden he, it's bro, real yes he always comes back and i'm just like it's yeah. annoying right there's no i don't think alex smith is in madden anymore is what he, he I think he, yeah yeah he is what does he come back as like a 70 a overall or what yeah he's he's uh bad is he still so he's the backup on the redskins uh i, I was doing a franchise he was the backup on the redskins and then he, he gets released right and then he's like a 60 oh. something overall so nobody signs him 
Uh, which is probably okay. what'll happen in real life. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna definitely. The, the good news is he's still getting paid in that contract. Oh but yeah, that is, that's great. That's another good thing for him too. Like, cause I'm sure these surgeries cost a lot of money, but him mm-hmm. and his family are just chilling. But on like seriously, like I'm not even trying to just make fun of that. Like that when I watch that, like I have so much respect for that dude. The, Without a doubt, dude. I would hope that the NFL covers medical expenses. For that. Oh yeah, right. If I, they I, don't. I would hope so, because that'd be like a a tough tough thing to have to deal with too. Yeah. I mean, once you're like practically living inside of a hospital, oh my god, bro, you you gotta think about the fact that hospital food is terrible. That was Alex have... Alex Smith in his last Dan, dance documentary, twenty years from now. The worst part of part about the hospitals was the food, the the, <laughs> the freaking pudding, the Jello cups. Hey, the Jello cups are for real. The tapioca. <laughs> I'm weak. Just these not these these foods that will never expire and they're just so horrible. When were you in the hospital? Um, oh yeah, it's a few times. One time Wait, for the really? head. One time for um. Tell them about below, the surgery. One time Dude. for below the belt uh, activity. <laughs> um, Dude, one time for the head. You know, Joe wishes he was there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dude, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, this is off topic, but let me tell y'all a story. So two years ago, he was over at my house for um, uh, a debate camp. It was when he was still in high school, right? But he was staying with me and, and James, who Ryan still hasn't met. But um, He's James. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyways, we go to South Park Meadows in Austin, and we go to like Target, and then we go to like this little like playground, like behind like Amy's ice cream. And Joe's just like walking around like the playground and, you know, it's like got the steel beams and he's just like pretending to hit it. And, and he's just like, I need a concussion. It's been so long. God. (laughs) It's like, I need head trauma. Anyways, back, back on topic. Wait, did you you mention Amy's ice cream? Yes. Is that not the best thing in the world? Is it good? I've never had it. I think it's overrated. I think it's overrated. It's good. I think it's like, it's not the greatest ice ice place. See, it's not that's but with that being said though this is just opinion like disclaimer my opinion is not a fact <gasps> Whoa. sorry wait let me let, wait can you say that one more time let me write that down <laughs> opinion is not fact okay i got it yeah. profound profound thoughts wait, profound so then thoughts. Let's, let's do a quick ranking then what's your number one like Baskin Robbins or Marble Slab, um, maybe. Creamy Creations. <laughs> if you gotta go somewhere and tell them to okay. throw it out on the table. Uh, I don't, dude. I don't know. Honestly, I don't go out and like get ice cream that much. Wait, you're saying you'd rather have H E B Creamy Creations than Amy's than ice Amy's, cream? Yes, I'm with him on that. Brian, stay out of this. You never had Amy's. <laughs> you just like 1905 vanilla. Who I does them last night? Who does a little bit of chocolate I, sauce? Dude, I get it. <laughs> That's money, but it's not better than that. Hey, hey, this is just my opinion. Well, y'all are the same guys opinion. who are gonna get sick because you're uh, going to the store and the uh, the people lick the you know take the top off and they're like, the nah, bro, I don't have a TikTok. Never have, never will. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not TikTok. Idiot. What? Yes, it is. The people they're like quarantine challenge or Corona challenge, and they're licking the, you know. Oh, like is the, that a thing? I, yeah, I just seen yeah. It one time. It's, it was, have you seen the one with the toilet? Seat? Cancer of the world. The toilet bowl. Yeah, they look the, the toilet, toilet bowl. Seat. Yeah, like Texas State versus South Alabama. Yeah, hey, that, that, was a good that, game. that that too. <laughs> you know what was a good game was um the bottom of the actually, sun. I, I honestly have no clue because I didn't go to a single game this year. But did UTSA play uh, Texas State this year? No, they didn't. Last year. Yes, last year. And UTSA had the ass. Yes, because Everett Withers decided to run. That's the old coach. He decided Chris to run. He this decided to run me to do this. a, a freaking uh, – <laughs> he decided to run a QB draw on fourth and eight in our own goal line. Not on our defense, baby. Not on our defense. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be on any defense. You're running Birds a of a feather, baby. Draw Birds on your two-yard line on fourth down with like a minute 20 to go. What are you doing? That's like that one Penn State call <laughs> against Ohio State. That one year, yeah. a couple years ago, 
Is this like yeah, they play each other? They play each other a lot. Is you gotta is be. This, uh... Is this is this Christian Hackenberg or, or who uh, is this? No, it was Trace McSorley. Um, okay, Trace McSorley years. And dude, Amanda doesn't know who either of those people are. Really it's sad. Yeah, it I know. was a read a option. Fan. They were. Um... She actually might know who McSorley is, but. Yeah, it was like a read option. They were. It was fourth down and five. Uh, Ohio State was up three or something, and they were in um, field goal range. They ran a read option. Uh, neither Saquon – Saquon didn't get it. I think McSorley ran up the middle and just got stuffed by Ohio State. Yeah. Stupid ending. They could have won that, and I'm still bitter about it because I hate Ohio State. Yeah, I don't like Ohio State either. And I, to be fair, my grandma actually went to Penn State, and a lot of like my grandma's family – like my great-grandpa was a teacher there, so like I rock with Penn State. All I right. think there's a blender going on in the background. Let me shut my door completely. Grammy McLaren? No, never mind. That's just my computer sweating. <laughs> well. Oh. Whoa, that? whoa. All right, if, all right, everybody. If you're not watching the, the YouTube track stream, you have to watch a little, the YouTube a little, stream. A little athleticism for the splash. That was nice. My hair looks like. Never do that again. Dog poop. Never do that again. That's okay. Sorry, sir. Not on this podcast. It's all right. Jude, is that your collection of shoes on the wall? Yeah. Yeah, Ryan's got something somewhere right to his uh to his right. Yep. So I'm looking around. Yo, I had the it, Ryan didn't see because he wasn't there, but I had the futures on uh on Thursday. Oh nice. Did you? Yeah, you did. I also saw the yeah, leg sleeve. I like the leg dog. sleeve. Yo, honestly, that's that's legit for my new. You got some drip. That's legit for my knee. Like, that's not – I wasn't even like, yeah, dude, I want to look cool. Like, <gasps> the nah, sleeve. nah, like legit. Dude, it's in reality, Jude's an sleeve. old man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you looked better than Spence's 2K player. Spence's 2K <laughs> player looks like a heroin addict. My 2K <laughs> player ugly has jeans. so much drip. I'm weak. <laughs> Jude needs to get 2K and play all the I have, I have you 2K. Have 2K. Yeah, I just don't really play. Mm-hmm. wasn't wasn't my year when you get the ps5 i don't know i don't know i'm thinking about just getting a switch and selling my playstation i i'm not a i'm not i mean like i want to play madden that's what i'll miss but also i'm thinking about getting a pc too because ah. that way i never have to pay for like playstation plus and all that stuff like I can right. play. and there's a bunch of cool mods you can do on pc like they have a whole like on pc they have a whole like college football game where like oh, you're in. Would the you would you play with a with a mouse and keyboard or a controller? Oh, controller. Yeah, controller still no doubt. Yeah, I just think I play Rocket uh, League too. So that's that's a big thing on PC. Playing things with a keyboard and mouse is so untraditional. It's so yeah, it's nah, nah, weird. Nah. I'd hook up a controller for sure. I just I would just run it on my on a PC, but the thing is those are expensive. Like I'd have to. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I thought about I'd making have to, a switch, but it's so expensive. Yeah, the switch is expensive. Well, if I if it's I expensive. my plan was was I was gonna trade in my PlayStation for a Switch, like at GameStop, because you can get like a good amount of money in, in the trade in whenever you're buying yeah. something else. Like I don't know, I could look it up right now and probably figure out what it is. But then all the all the uh, no GameStop will happened. give you straight up like twenty five bucks. <laughs> For a PlayStation? Dude, they nah, say nah, scamming. No, nah. nah, I know they do say scamming, but for trade in, I'm gonna I'm, I'm kinda gonna see this. PS4 slim. Nice. Here we go. Stop. Jude's gonna crunch numbers live on our podcast. <laughs> we're live and on the splash. We're, and we're gonna uh anybody listening, go ahead and let us know what he should get. PC, switch, or stay loyal to the PlayStation. Um okay, let me see. And here. while Jude's doing that, a quick shout out to our sponsor this week. Uh, zip fizz? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what, what fizz, is fizzy Yo, I can fizzy get drink sponsored by. I can get one forty. That's not that much, but one forty in store credit. How much is the Switch? Nintendo Switch. No, 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 no. It's uh, three hundred bucks. Yep. Yep. So that's about. That's almost half. Yeah, that's almost half. That's that's honest. And that's like one sixty. I could I can and before I, can I saw Jude the other day. But I got I, all the games too. Oh, before God. I saw Jude the other day, he just kept telling me, "Dude, I got all this money. I need to I, I need to go drop it off, bro. I got too much money on me. I got too much money." 
<laughs> that's not no 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 i just had to yeah you G- 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 say he's getting paid left and right and it's like um, all right it was out of nowhere the, the weird like, thing is like all right sportscaster <laughs> no nah, i just like i usually go and like pick up my checks right but it is run by student workers and like i just go in and they just give me like what they have so i thought i had everything because i go pretty frequently and they were like, nah, you have like a $90 check from November that you never picked up. And I was like, bro, I went there. But nice. Hey, nice. Hey, but it was, I mean, it was, it was more than that too. So, you know, it was, it was, it was a little bit of Well, sauce. how much was it? But he had some salami ready. ready. It was like 230 a little bit over that. Ooh. It was nice, but just, it's, uh, it's always nice to just run in. You know, I've been listening to No months. Limits ever since then. I've just been making a bunch of money. Dude, once you start listening, no limit. I'm once turning you, this off now. Once you, Game over. <laughs> I'm leaving the call. <laughs> are, are we deep enough in to where I can make a confession about no limits and covered line? Well, sure. What are yes. you going to say that covered line is the number one sports I've never listened podcast? to a single episode of either. Wait, seriously? Dude, I have. It's pretty fun. That's insane. <laughs> I don't regularly listen to all of our shows because i talk to you people enough that yeah. if i hear you hear you anymore i'm just gonna get sick of you and i, I just try to give that. a play you know for the brand i but, give a play oh. and I, I like to get a, a summary a synopsis but ryan just doesn't care ryan, i did Ryan's i listened to something to about Matt, first... pat mcfee no oh, i listened no. to the I first was... um i could though i listened to the first episode of no limits right with the first one first, like when it first, first got one, released yeah first episode ever first show on the strive network it took Mike 20 sec- 22 seconds to say a swear word into this net- network's <laughs> history. It took him 22 seconds. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sounds about right. Like I said, jihad terrorist to the mouth. Felt like it was accurate. <laughs> it, yeah. Well, he is. No, shout but, out. Like, I, 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 with that being said. Well, I got no, to shout Mike out to jihad terrorists. Time. Oh, yeah, you did. So, Mike, Mike's a great dude. I don't, I'm not trying to. Everybody, everybody has their quirks. No, it's all love. Well, everybody has their quirks, and then there's uh, Michael. Hey, no, no, no. Michael is all quirks. I love you, Mike. Thanks for letting me on this thing. What time is it? It's uh, Uh, time for us to start talking about some. Talking about what? So, Jude, you did not listen to Angel of the Morning by Juice. I, 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 I listened, but I didn't get through it. I felt like I was like, I felt like I was in a montage of like. (laughs) Of like of a Family Guy like scene where don't like let Ryan don't let Ryan going put like his did you get to the chorus did you get to the chorus dude yes I got to the chorus it's magnificent yeah yeah yes. I mean you have it's to like seventies right. you have to understand know. that the only thing that Jude has an ear for is gangster rap that's it that's it yeah. not that's no you know for. okay so y'all want to know why that is why my I'm my trying to put you on to a better that is. No, no, no. I, I have some alternative stuff that I listen to. Y'all need to listen to River Tibber. You haven't listened to River Tibber, go listen to him. Yeah, y'all don't know who he is, but I'm telling you, go listen. And Dude, you need to listen to Prince. Layered music. <laughs> you listen to Prince. You need to listen to Prince and Dude. Van Halen and Michael Jackson. Hey, I don't you know. know you that that last one sounds you. like just like liking kids too much. Uh, it, no, see, you don't know the whole story. No, 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 Have no, some no. respect for the dead. I can't believe I said that. No, no, no. I was a funny, funny story about that. So I was over at Amanda's uh, uncle's house the other day, and they were playing. Um, they were playing like uh, they were playing Michael Jackson, and I was like, "Yo, it sounds like." And I made that same comment, but at the same time, I honest music, like all that aside, I I love Michael Jackson's music. Wait, did you get did you get roasted by her family or what? No, no, I just like whispered it to her ear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> it was a side comment. Culkin, I wouldn't say that in front of everybody, but you if know, if Macaulay person- Culkin said it didn't happen, yo, it didn't happen. That is a good point, though. That is a good point that he did because say. What like, kid? It was, was cuter than Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, no, I forget. <laughs> I forget where are you getting this from. I heard somebody say like, "If I was a pedophile, Macaulay Culkin is who I'd want to." <laughs> I think it makes the rounds on like Twitter every couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But I think I heard that on like a Rogan podcast or something. I heard that on a podcast somewhere. It might've been too long. You didn't hear it here. Yeah. Maybe you heard it on no limits. I don't know. But. (laughs) Might've, might've heard it on cover the line. (laughs) No, no, I wouldn't have. I would have, I wouldn't allow that to happen. Dude, we made, we were playing basketball. We made so many strife puns. 
<laughs> oh, dude, the whole time everybody's calling yeah. Jude the JTM. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good for the brand, JTM. That, that <laughs> missed shot's not good they for were, They were like, it's just TM, no J. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like for it took spencer a little bit to warm up in the first couple of games and like me and mike were sitting there and mike's just like bro it's just cover there's no line <laughs> it just took joe slamming me in the head with a ball to wake up bro joe joe is I'm going telling off you my nose is swollen dude i'm telling you it is I don't i'm know. sorry oh yeah and then to make things worse <laughs> Jude comes down, two hands smack on the face. Oh, God. It was, yeah, it was my bad. It I, was violent. Yeah, it violent. was not on purpose, though. Truly. I was just trying and to then play I defense. still got this battle scar. I was bleeding all over the ball like uh, Sorry, Magic Johnson. Song? These battle scars. Don't oh, Lupe fade. Fiasco? See, yeah, you, 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 have, <laughs> you, you already know way Keep too going much Lupe the Fiasco. On. <laughs> Bro, I remember that song, and I was like in like you know middle school or something. That I was Jude's like, yeah. song right there. But but no, I don't I don't listen to that anymore. <laughs> My favorite thing about this is um, both of you guys. Well, Jude really has like his whole like half face covered up. It looks like kind of like a like a yeah. predator. I got and that then, Bane mask on. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then Ryan just covers his chin. Yeah. It's just the way that like my computer camera works. Like I could go like this, but you know I don't want to sacrifice oh, the content. Don't want to sacrifice the content. Should I yeah. talk into the mic like this? This is good. Just put the please, mic in your mouth. Please no. Please no. God, jeez. Hey, don't. All right. Well, uh, if, if you're not straight? watching, you should go watch at yeah. this point because Spence just attempted to deep throat his microphone. I didn't even touch it. This is That's this interesting is, for the brand. Yeah, it interesting is interesting for the brand. I'm. <laughs> I'm here for for that. I'm here for the brand. I feel like Always. my mic, my mic got or my pop filter. I'm trying to like make yeah. it centered. All right. I think should we talk about some sports? Yeah, we probably should. Wait, I, but what does that mean? We we have some notes. Um, that's true because there's multiple sports in the notes. Well, but they all mean basically except nothing. for the last. Oh yeah, that's no, true. Hold on. That's okay, true. so. Oh well, the playoff Getting predictions is is something that we can do because look, we are going to have college football. Um, yes. God, I. Okay. We're going to have everything. I just well, I had a small panic attack this I morning because so, I saw the NBA's delaying the, uh, the the notification was that NBA is delaying the CBA ne- negotiation, but because Yo. it was like woes and shams and everybody's reacting, I was like, oh my god, they canceled the season. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So yeah. apparently did, did y'all hear though, that they're preparing for, sorry to interrupt, but cause I know you're about to, you're about to do a, a sick segue, but I, I just want to talk um, about the NBA. No, I know. Me. And I'm about to continue to talk about the NBA. Did y'all see that Adam Silver was like expecting the 2021 season to not have fans in the stands? Oh really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I know. I was like, bro, like I, every time that he, like that, that comes up, I just think of LeBron being like, if there's not stand, fans in the stands, I'm not playing. It's as simple as this. Everybody wears masks, and yeah. you don't book it to dude, full capacity. I'm sorry. It's like, dude, it give everybody – yeah, like you said, and, and everybody who's wearing a mask, they should they should give them like – like if you're at a Lakers game, you should get a Lakers mask. If you're at a – Oh, like that's a, a good idea. Uh, and that would be great because it's like a, you know, it's like a whiteout camaraderie. Yeah, but the thing is that nobody's – there are going to be a lot of people who won't participate, and then how do you regulate that? You got to throw well, it's everybody out. Well, as simple as mandate fines to wear masks, and if you don't have a mask at one of these sporting events, you can't well, come in. And if if they hand out like masks for like you know like if you're at a Spurs game in AT and T Center and they hand out Spurs masks, yeah, I feel I'm like talking about Spurs every, games. No, if every, like, the demographic here is not going to wear a mask. It's not. <laughs> then they can't wear it. Wire them. Get in. Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying once you're in your seat and the whole environment of a sporting event is, is drinking and eating. Yeah. You know, so I that's don't think true. that's possible. Well, if they don't sell that, but then that's a big Well, yeah, you're going to have to cut off concessions. Of so you're going to have to hire more people to regulate while cutting um, concession income. Yeah. So that's a good point. Now you're out of money. But um, so I think it's either going to be. I apologize. You cut capacity or. No fans, or you just—if you want to wear a mask, you wear a mask. If you, but you know, just 
business as usual would be my my approach. I mean, honestly, I think at a certain point it's going to become we're going to resume complete business as usual. If they die, they die. Natural selection. You know, off air, I'd have some things to say about this. On air, no comment. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. If they don't they be die. a coward. <laughs> don't be. If they don't, hey, no, no, I'm not no. saying that that's Yo. how it should be, but that's what's going to happen. Well, hey, look, yeah. I'm going to go to no. games. Okay, this, but that's not natural selection, though. I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to games. All right. Going if, back if, to the masks thing. If it's open. I'm interrupting open. Spencer. I'm so sorry. Well, if he it's open, it's open. To say, just go, Jude. He doesn't have anything to say. Yes, he does. He's talking. No. I. I, I have respect a lot of since thoughts since, on my mind. Yeah, yes, look at him in his setup. He's got a Miami Heat and a San Antonio Spurs basketball. I don't. And a I see like basketball and a okay, Mavericks banner. Okay, why is the why is the Celtics basketball the smallest? That's my question, Spencer. Six Flags yeah. sucks. All right. Small balls. <laughs> Where did you get the Heat and the Spurs one then? Six Flags. Oh, you did you win them all? Oh yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Wait, do you got the you got the water burger? Yo, I got a cool water burger thing. I got to show y'all. That's it. Wait, I have something to show you too. All right, all right. It's just me. I wonder how long this episode's gonna go. But um, oh god, my hair is atrocious. Are we? Look, are we comparing? I got, I got class, class of eighteen, dog. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool for my high school class. I think, yo, Spence. yo. <laughs> but wait, but wait, but wait. I didn't do one for my class. Nah. But wait. Wait, what class were you, Ryan? How old are you? You're, you're my age, right? Yeah, Check but I out. graduated a year after you. That's something Wait, really? We're the same age, but I graduated 19. Really? And Spence is a year older than me, but he graduated 18. So that's, yeah. That's interesting. See, look we, at that. That's that's robbery. Oh, my gosh. When's your, wait, I can't hear. I need to, my hair is so, oh, God. Dude, put on oh, your He's doing his hair now. It is, I'm getting exposed. I don't. Here, I think right. it's time for a hat. I'll take the advantage to snap some people. No, that's oh, not geez. It. All right. It's it's hat time. That was that was a fun. Now you have a hat. This, I I still look stupid. No, you look amazing, Jude. You look I, so not in my opinion. Looks kind of dumb. Yeah, <laughs> I, I concur. What? I got that morning fluff, dog. Okay, I'm okay with this. No, I'm not. We're spending a, a while you know, everybody's right already now. Seen all trying, this at this point, so. trying to, we're really trying to work on Jude's look here, but... I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get back ready. to podcasting. <laughs> That's probably the best option. Yeah, Probably the best yeah. option, but maybe yeah. not. I don't Apologies. know. So what are we going to talk about for Whataburger? Um, oh, NBA. 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 Hey, real quick. What's um, up? What? Okay, you have to eat a burger. It has to be fast food. It has to be in Texas. Water what burger it, number two, which is water burger tomato only. Jude? Water burger. Uh, well, y'all are probably going to not like me for this, but I think I think so, one of y'all commented. I think it was Spencer on this, but yeah, I, I got to go with the honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich, dog. No, you, no, you need to eat a burger. A burger from anywhere. the 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 argument is not Whataburger. The argument is See, anywhere. I'm gonna say Whataburger. Jude's gonna say Whataburger, and Spence is gonna say In and Out because he thinks it's amazing. Wait, are you really an In and Out dude? It's it's phenomenal. All right, all okay. right. So it's it was fresh, great being never on frozen. the splash, guys. Uh, all right, and you enjoy it. your thin little frozen I'll patties or what? All right. all right, cool. It's not um, like that. I almost hit the leave button. Not gonna Spence, lie. Spence, you um, are just so oh, jaded. God. Screw in and out because you've been California ate, stuff. You've been eating Whataburger I like that, you ate Whataburger like three times a day for like four years straight. So yes. of course you're not as big of a fan of it, and you never I'm get in and out. So I understand. I'm not saying it's not good. It's obviously great. Y'all know how but, California is supposed to like get an earthquake quake and like float <laughs> off the United States. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope that they take in and out with it. That's my thoughts on this. Oh, no, in and out's already here. So that's to say. Well, we should just like make them explode or something. Without the oh, workers yeah. in them. But so yeah. now you're being a terrorist. All right, I see. Essentially. Yeah. I see how it is. Well, I'm whatever. To, I, 
At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because the only burger that matters is JC Super Burger here in Forestville, Texas. Anyways, yo, actually, if I'm going to get a burger, there's this place in Round Rock, and it's, it's like you can only get it there, but it's like the golf course, but it's like a restaurant at... In my girlfriend's yeah, neighborhood. No, no, no. Count. Y'all haven't been there and you haven't tried. No, we don't. Best okay, a con- the I've country ever had Daniel San. It's got an onion ring, some avocado, some Swiss cheese, and a big old bun, um, and and a big old slice of steak. A, uh, okay, a country you're club to say that, burger. I'm to say five guys. So that's con- what I'm saying. No, dog. a country club burger is the equivalent of gas no, station no, no, pizza. You haven't gas been station there. pizza it's a or country club no, no no please stop we had gas station it, pizza it, it, do not talk yeah. on things that you aren't educated on i understand that y'all don't have access to this place but you asked me a question of where i would choose to go get a burger if i'm in texas that's where i'd go okay and it's better than water burger yeah in my opinion, more, once again, more, what is in the notes? What is in the notes, boys? I got really loud there. I'm sorry, but what is in the notes? Jude's opinion is not fact. Why do you get so quiet when you say that? That's the t- I don't like how intimate it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that should be the title of the episode. Jude's opinion is not fact. It probably will be. <laughs> That's fire. Anyways, let's talk about the NBA and like, you know, maybe this season starting again. You're ready to talk about the NBA? Okay. <laughs> okay. Would you rather play in Orlando or Las Vegas if you're LeBron James? Probably if I'm LeBron James, yeah, I'm going MGM Grand. Yeah. I mean, if you have Vegas to yourself, basically, because they basically clear it, clear it out. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I think I'd rather play with, you know, uh, gamblers instead of... Um, Mickey Mouse, you know. Well, then you can have all the betting people there too. It's like, but here, here's the thing. So if there's no fans anyway, there's no fans, and we and we're gonna be inside of uh, we're gonna be in these arenas. But if we're gonna be in uh, Orlando, we could have Disney characters be in the stands. Oh, that'd be fun, right? Because they're they're in huge costumes. They're not gonna breathe on anybody, and they're all just they're themselves. My question is, though, y'all have probably been more into this than I have. I honestly haven't been, like, paying attention too much. Would they – I almost burped, but I didn't. It's weird. Good of- um, it's a weird feeling. Um, but have y'all, like – are they going to play out the rest of the season, or is it just playoffs? That's the debate right now. It's most likely going to be the rest of the season, though. So, <sighs> yeah, no yeah. – the next Spurs season, fans hopes it, dashed. Nah, nah. We weren't th- even for let me say this as a Spurs fan on the splash, a basketball podcast for the most part. I would like to say that even if this season got canceled, the Spurs still did not make the playoffs and our streak effectively ended. Yeah, the streak's don't, over. don't lie to your don't lie to yourselves, Spurs fans. Don't lie to yourselves. The streak's over. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Okay, but it'll still be over when y'all miss the playoffs next year. So all good things it's die. okay. We we have to rebuild. Congratulations. We've been spoiled for 22 years. We're going to do what every other franchise has had to do for the past two decades. Dude, where does Tim Duncan rank? So hurt. Where does Tim Duncan Tim rank as du- the best player of all time? Wait, what do you mean? There's a right answer. Where, where, does, where's he, where, my, where does he rank? In my top, like, as for me? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down the list. There's a right answer. He's like in the five to seven range. Uh, I say if he's less than five, you're, you're wrong. I was gonna. I say mean, that's respectable. I think, I can I see think he's four. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think he's four. Yeah, four. I can see that. I, I just think it's cri- he's criminally underrated. I, I appreciate that. I I really appreciate that. I think I think he is too. Like I've been seeing a lot of. I hate. I, honestly, I hate. I hate Spurs Twitter because everybody's yeah. so self righteous and annoying. But Dude. um, at the same time. Like, uh, I, there was a tweet that I saw recently and it was like, people forget that Tim Duncan did this. And it was like the 2003 finals and the man averaged like 24, 17, five assists, five blocks. Like I mean, that's he, ain- he anchored the best team of the league for years. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, like if there's no Tim Duncan, there's no Spurs dynasty. Without a doubt. No. Like, yeah, to be fair, we did um, have three hall of famers. We just had so. to educate the, uh. The listeners, real quick, just in case. Oh, yeah. But he, he's, he's, he's a legit, like, definitely, like, I don't think there's, there's no debate. He's a top ten player of all time, and that's conservative. Yeah. Jude, can I ask you something? What's up? Why is Spurs 
social Spurs, the Spurs yeah. social media fan base so toxic and uneducated. Because, because they think that like because they don't like we don't get like the media attention that everybody else does, so they like feel this is my opinion. We don't get the media attention that everybody else does, so we feel like that we're like even though the fact that we're still like we've been spoiled more than like any other fan base. Like for example, this streak, even though it's gonna end this year, most likely unless a miracle happens, right? Like is is four or three years older than me. Like, think about that. The streak is older than everybody on this podcast, okay? Mm -hmm. I have been spoiled. I have never seen the Spurs miss the playoffs in my entire Mm -hmm. life. And I've been watching since I was like five years old. And it's just because we're not on ESPN all the time and we don't get all the highlights from the major sports outlets that Mm -hmm. that everybody on Twitter is like, we're disrespected. It's the same thing that Raptors so fans do. Yeah. yeah. Of the side of the border, you don't get that. It's same not love. true. Like we're respected in the league, dude. We're just not media darlings, but we're also not in Los Angeles or, you know, a huge media market. Like we're in San Antonio mm-hmm. and I, I love okay. San Antonio. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I like San Antonio um, better than definitely Dallas. Um, right. so, like, you know, I like I said, my first my first house was on Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio. Mm-hmm. Like, I I rock with San Antonio. Yeah, but. I agree with that statement. I, I always say that San Antonio is number one in Texas, and really, then followed by Dallas. And then really? it goes. No. I I have Austin and Houston above Dallas. But y'all don't have Dallas to live guy. here. I feel you. No, no, no. That's a good. That's a good point. Like, and when I lived here, I wasn't really conscious. As someone who's lived here, ninety percent of my life. I, I think it's gonna gotta be Dallas, Austin. God, I think damn. I think the only thing is like Dallas, Dallas is, is not Dallas my is, thing, dog. Dallas is just kind of like too much of a utopia. Like it's just a little too perfect. If it was, yeah, San Antonio <laughs> San Antonio is really good, but it has its really like it has its downsides. No, it so has it its feels, bad parts. Feels like it feels like real life. You know, Dallas is like a. It's like all, it's all it's all perfect. It's like yeah. there's nothing wrong. I don't with hate it. Dallas. Where, where's the entertainment? You know. Where's the I actually went there. I went actually, downtown. It was so pretty long. nice. It yeah, it's very it nice. nice. They definitely have the best arena in Texas, which I'm envious of. The best. NBA That's that arena. Mark Cuban money, bro. Yes, it is. And it is fantastic. I don't hate the Mavs. That's the thing. Like, I'm in the division. Like, the Spurs are in the division, though. I don't hate them. I, I don't either. And you have Luca and Porzingis. And Dude. Yeah, I enjoy watching them. Years. Like, I'm going to hate it when they beat the crap out of us for the next, like, However two de- long, two decades. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah, but because Luca's one of the most ridiculous. Luca, like, I don't know if it's. I'm not saying it's gonna. He has a chance to like finish as like a like. Top in my opinion, ever. top five. Yeah, I, I think he has top. We five might, we might get a we might get a documentary out of it. Yeah, yeah, like what what he's done, like, and if you compile his whole basket, like, dude is already basically you know like he came into the league and he was already like one of the 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 best euro league players like they've ever seen because of what he did at his age Bro, like just, when you're eight, yeah sorry it's just, it's just such a shame that he didn't play college basketball because that's so important and so <laughs> you know it's a shame yo it is fun it's gonna fly I do his like resume march madness for the rest of his life. yeah no it's not he played in the, in the second best league in the world yeah, I know that's one MVP at that. like sixteen. That's what I was gonna say, dude. When you're eighteen and you win MVP, Final Four MVP, the championship, and he won something else too. He won like four awards, like basically every award that you can get. Like, oh, and like the final game MVP. Like, he's yeah, you're ridiculous. He, he, he's not just like some slow white dude. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I I'm just a slow white dude. Yeah. Um, but he is he is not he is not. Anyways, so yeah, he's also uh, my NBA what, lookalike when I grow up my facial hair <laughs> and shorten my hair. What do y'all think about the return? Like, so if they're gonna play out the whole season, how long is that gonna take? How's that gonna affect the off season? Will next season start on time? Yeah, well, they'll finish with, the season with, in a couple weeks with everybody in one spot. Would they be playing multiple games every day? I'm thinking that would be the the wave. Yeah, like tournament like like one team plays one game each day, but um, and at least one day rest typically, probably a couple you know back to backs, but 
I don't know. I the, the only thing is you can't tell New Orleans sorry. You can't be in the playoffs even though you finally got healthy and things were looking looking up for you. Yeah. Um, it's just tough. So, yeah, it's you have to play it out. In all honesty, if it happens, I'm just glad. I'm just happy to see DeJounte Murray play again. Yeah, I'm happy about our young core. I think we should trade everybody. Trade everybody. Except for, like, Keldon Johnson, Lonnie Walker, DeJounte. I've been in the trade DeRozan camp forever. Dude, me too. Yeah. Like, no hate to DeRozan. Like, I know he's a good guy. He's just not, like, one of my good friends, Deshaun, who, like, played college basketball, he told me he's, like, he just needs to be in a system where, like, he's the focal point of the offense and can just, like, ISO. Yeah, it's like, not a good match. And, and if you're in the Spurs, like, it's just – you know, like we we played better without him. Like we would, I in my opinion, like without Kawhi, we were a better team. Like with just Lamarcus and like know him, I like yes, we won more one more game with him. But if, I feel like if we have him on the team that year, I don't think we beat the Warriors. Like I don't think we get one game from them. Oh really? No. Yeah. Well, the because we had Ginobili, I'd take forty year old. I'd take forty three year old Ginobili over him. I'm on. I'm. Yeah, sorry. I think we've been in that game. Uh, well, I've always been like the Marcus's <laughs> biggest, heart. biggest like advocate. Um, but even this year has kind of like been really rough for him. I think did you, oh there was a tweet that came out where like he like Dame Lillard took over the uh, Portland oh, Twitter. Yeah. yeah, and Lamarcus put the eyes emoji on it. Yeah, he's got to go back. I, I'd be happy for him. So that's I'd be the like, thing. He, I hope he, he can act. go back to Portland, and the odds are looking really good for Demar and to he's, go he's to got Toronto. A shot. Dude, everything goes back to normal. The Spurs have an actual rebuild, which is what we should have done three years ago. The fact that we could have traded for Brandon Ingram and we didn't do it is one of the dumbest moves we've ever made. Yeah, it would have made the Lakers, you know, pretty much unstoppable. But at the same time, I'd rather have Brandon Ingram. I don't right think now. It, I don't think they were that close on a deal. I heard that from what I, don't I think it, I from don't what think I saw, we close. could have got. Like, I think it was smoke and mirrors, though. So. Really. I think that's what like ninety percent of Spurs trade rumors are like when they were almost going to get Kyrie. True. That's a I good point. I think that's what a lot of it is. And I think not, now that you mentioned, not saying that, there weren't discussions, but yeah. And actually, I'd rather have more parity now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't well, a win situation that would be for the parody. Spurs because the Spurs haven't had a signature star since you know their the core three left. Well, um, I think that um. No, I mean, like, I would rather have more parity in the league overall because I think that opens up more chances to get to the final. Well, the Spurs need somebody. No, we do. Ooh. We don't have anybody right now, but now if we get somebody, I think we have a better chance. Like, I don't think it's going to happen, but if we got somebody, I would think we would have a better chance of making the finals in this NBA than an NBA where LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard are on the same team. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Very true. I just feel like y'all messed up bad, and this rebuild should have been happening a while back. No, now it's going to be a worse rebuild. 100% agree. But the one thing that I am happy about in this whole in – in the Kawhi trade, we got Kelton Johnson out of that. And I think I – mean, I don't was, know about that, though, because, like, last year, granted, it went to seven games. But that's the thing. It went to seven games. Could have easily been in the second round if it wasn't oh, for – But they wouldn't have beaten anybody else. Yeah, but if it wasn't for well, the no, worst hey, hey, game no. seven ever – you know. Yeah. What I will say is you got to remember also that the Trailblazers went seven games with the Nuggets. And the if Thunder. the Spurs went seven oh, games wait. with the yeah. Nuggets, then I'm not saying – I don't – like, in all honesty, I don't think we would have won. But I think there's a possibility, like there's a percentage chance that they could go – I mean, granted, they'd go to the, fi- the conference finals and lose, but you know what I'm Yeah, saying. there was a good shot for them to be a conference finals team last year. There was – yeah. Because I didn't believe in the was, Thunder. I didn't really believe in the, in the Blazers. I didn't believe in the Nuggets. Um, if you weren't the Rockets or the Warriors, I just didn't think yeah. much Last year, we got the Warriors-Rockets first round, right? Second round. Second yeah. Round. And that was the finals. Hey, when that happens. That was the Western yeah. Conference finals. Hey, when that happens. God, I love watching the, the Rockets year. play so much. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's like a super um, common take, but I love watching the Rockets play. They're fun. I think it's so much fun. I mean, I like Harden's Russ. a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, I'm not, he's, obviously, he's I, you know, I I despise the Rockets, but I objectively I can say that 
you know, they're a fun team to watch. I think so. I mean, I, uh, it's everybody hates on the the free throws and the threes, and I get it, but you know, it's like the it's kind of like the same argument with the Spurs. They never were gonna dominate you, um, yeah, with dunks or exactly. overpowering. But you know, so it's kind of hypocritical, especially from Spurs fans. They just have and great I like them. Playmakers. I like. I like them a lot more with Russ because I really enjoy watching Russell Westbrook play. And it's a it's a really dynamic team because you well, you really do have six seven PJ Tucker at center, so it's way yeah. different than anything else. I would say see. he's six and six. it works. <laughs> well, yeah, it's way different than anything. But they're else not going to win a chip, see. is the thing, unfortunately. Well, uh, this yeah. is their chance right now, right? Because they can catch somebody by surprise. Nah. This is this is the one year that they could. This is the one year they could because Who else is well, there? I wouldn't agree with the. They're one. not. I okay. This is the one argument because look, your best player is James Harden, right? I don't think they're beating the Lakers. What the happens Lakers. consistently at this point in the year? His second best player is either hurt or isn't that good. Okay. And he's also worn to hell because he has to carry all year. I got to we just get the longest break in, in the middle of the yeah. season ever. And your second best player is not Chris Paul. It's Russell yeah. Westbrook, who's been the I second best see... point guard in the league. I haven't seen James Harden win anything. You know, I haven't seen him go to the finals. I haven't. So until he does that, I'm not going to believe it. Okay. In the, in the Oklahoma, (laughs) when he's the leader of a team, okay. Lead a team to the finals. I have not seen him do that. I'm not saying it can't happen, but until it happens, uh, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. But until this point, he's had, uh, the worst Dwight Dwight Howard and and injured Chris Paul. I don't think that, him and Russell Westbrook are better than LeBron James and Anthony Davis or Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Well, no, but you have to bet on – you're not betting on the talent necessarily. You're betting on the schemes and the fact that it that L.A. may I have I think their hands both teams are deeper. Not knowing what to do. I think that – yeah, I don't. When it comes to the Clippers, I think that their defense can – You have kinda, too much faith in Kyle Kuzma is what you have. I, no, I'm talking about the Clippers right now, dog. Oh, yeah, I love the Clippers, but... Uh, Paul George and Kawhi, you stick them on those two. Yeah, Kawhi, nah. In my opinion, in my opinion, this is a... This is a I hate this, the term hot take, but, yeah, in my opinion right now, until I see Kawhi Leonard lose, he's the best player in basketball. I mean, and I that's said that. from a Spurs fan. I, said that I haven't seen him though. lose, dude. The only person I've seen him stop in the past three years is Zaza Pachulia. It's the only person who stopped him. Very true. Yeah, no, that's not I'll take. Clippers have been my pick all year. Um, Same. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if the break helps helps with that or not, though. Because I yeah, think, I think LeBron gets gets a yeah. Gets a that's the thing. Now. I could yeah, see. With the rest, I think the Lakers have a better chance now. With rest, LeBron is no doubt gonna. Because this whole time everybody's talking about uh, if the season gets canceled, it's where we're Kawhi worried about LeBron. Rest. That is a good point. Yeah. Kawhi yeah, maybe Kawhi's had about Lego three months deal. of load lent, load management, dog. He's going to be load managing in Vegas, too. <laughs> He's going to be like, yeah, these are regular season games. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as I long as we fair. get that two seed, we'll be fine. <laughs> Dude, I, that's I honestly know. a good point. No, yeah. that See, that's what – that sucks, though, because we didn't get to see that Lakers, like that staple center matchup because that would yeah. have been so fun. Like that would have been so ridiculous. And the series would have gone seven games. Regardless of who won, it would have gone seven games. Maybe. And it would be the greatest thing. Really? I, think I, mean, I don't know because you, – Well, I know you, if, you're a If one team gets you for really amped up, you know. No, I could easily seen, see Kawhi going off. Yeah. And and I could easily see – what, what did I he do to that? see Paul George Lakers. fading away. And, like, now that happens a lot. where's Kawhi turn to, right? Patrick Paul Robert George is a lot of and a little Shannon. bit of bite. <laughs> You know? Landry Shamit. <laughs> yeah, he turns to Landry Shamit, who might who might hit the three or not. <laughs> they have a deep team, though, dude. They got Lou Williams too. Like, if they need a bucket and Paul George can't hit it, Lou Williams they, is going to be six men until he's forty-five. Yeah, dude. How long have we been going? About an hour. Um, yeah, about oh. an hour. I mean, I feel like it's yeah. a great conversation. I'm not trying to stop. I was just curious. Not yeah, no, kinda, I know you got things to do, old boy, but oh, let me text. This is a good Michael time for me to text Michael to get oh, him geez. to get him oh, ready. Geez. I'm ready. Just for get that. him in here. We can make it one recording. 
<laughs> Yo, but since we are kind of leaning in on time, not to force anything, do we have, do you have any last thoughts on the on the NBA before we go into our our last little thing we're going to talk about? Um, I just think that Spur, a lot of Spurs fans are so uneducated, and I hate that. <laughs> That's just, just like what, how when uh, Kawhi had his thigh injury or whatever it was keeping him out, they were blaming Zaza Pachulia for that when they were two <laughs> entirely different injuries. And I'm like, dude, stop. I don't know what they linked. No, they were entirely different. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not blaming Zaza Pachulia for that. When I mentioned Zaza earlier, I was saying he's the only person I've seen stop Oh, Kawhi yeah, but that reminds me of it, so I had to bring yeah. it up. No, because it was a thigh, and then it was an ankle. I don't know. I think there's a chance they could have been linked. But with that That's being the same said, leg, though. Zaza Pachulia, you know, even if the injuries are linked and it was Zaza who – and that – even if the injury is connected, right, what I'm saying is that didn't ruin the relationship we had with him. Zaza Pachulia did not ruin the relationship that the Spurs had with Kawhi. The Spurs yeah. did that. Because the Spurs yeah, club that are a horribly managed organization, and I will stand by that statement until something changes. How can you say that? They used though? to be great, but now – since about 2016, I don't know what's happened, but that management. Tim, Tim Duncan left, Tim Duncan <laughs> but now he's back. Yeah. But now he's back. So and things are hopefully looking up. But uh, they are honestly that we, front. You can't tell me that front office knows what they're doing 100. percent And you can't tell me that Pop is not stuck in his ways. Definitely stuck. Yeah, in his ways. that's why I want. And so if you man. notice in that one game that Tim Duncan was the head coach, he played Keldon Johnson, and he played long. He played all the young guys, and I was mm-hmm. like, Timmy, yes. Like, look, I, it would be super cool to see Becky Hammond be the first female head coach and everything. But after watching that game, I want Tim Duncan as my new head coach. I don't know if he'd want that, though. I don't care what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ex-players don't ever really translate well as coaches. Like, it's, it's rare. Hey, but like Jason Kidd did. sucks. And, uh, who, who I else? think Duncan would be a good coach, though. Yeah, Tyron Lou. Want to. Yeah. yeah, but they're oh. also not, like, Jason Kidd is pro- was a good pl- he was a he was a pretty good player but he's still not Tim Duncan you know what I'm saying so yeah but you would think though because he was a he was one of the best Have, point guards he was the best point guard in the league for a couple of years and yeah. you know I mean Doc Rivers has worked out yeah it's always actually the Steve role Kerr. player the role players always do well Steve Kerr I think Doc Rivers oh. But we've never seen a player of – I don't think we've seen Timmy's caliber be a head coach. We've Yeah, we've never seen a top five player of all time be a head coach, I don't think. Um, Bill Russell? I, I, I don't have Bill Russell top five. I haven't also, him, he was a player Bill coach, Russell, yeah. though. He was a that player is different. coach. That, that's different. That's yeah. different. Regardless of if he's a top five player of all time, he was a player coach. So that's different. 11 titles. Yeah. Against titles. against a bunch of plumbers white against plumbers <laughs> <laughs> against Chamber. No, no, no. With that being said, or I, Bill Russell is is great, and you will. I respect greatness. That's good. Proud of you. I think he's top ten all time. At one point, he was top five, but now there's just new players that are pushing him further back on the list, and that's okay. It doesn't diminish his greatness. It just increases others' greatness. It's just we got a lot of great players and we have great basketball to watch, which is great. Got a really big team. Get some really great, big rings. Great stuff. Jeez. All right. So I think uh, that ties a nice little bow on the NBA. Yep. Now yep. Jude wanted to get into some college football. Because I'm on the show. Had to. Because you're on the show. <laughs> and I am ready to give you my playoff predictions if you want to jump right into that or if you want to have a little Dude, foreplay. no. I, please. I already know what's going to happen and I don't you don't know what's going to happen. Yes, I do. I know there's going to be one team in there. And he's, not gonna gonna say, like, he's not going to say Texas, though. Oh, he won't? You ready for this? Okay. If he, well, here. All right. Here, yeah. Top four at the end of the season going into the playoffs. Okay. Number right one. Now. Number one, Ohio State. Okay. I like Justin Fields a lot. I think that team's going to be really good. Number two. We'll make it next year for sure. The Clemson. 10. Trevor Lawrence. Okay. Number three, Penn State. One loss. Number four. <laughs> Look at the talent we have. Look at assuming all, we don't get he, destroyed by injuries again this year. Tarek assuming Black's coming assuming in you can get through Kansas. <laughs> assuming LSU can get through Troy. <laughs> oh, was, we don't have wow. them on the schedule, dog. <laughs> well, you, that's good. 
That's a good Look, thing. Bro, you can say that, but even that year we didn't go seven and five. <laughs> Our entire team was marred by injuries, but LSU's right. not going to make it through UTSA, so it's okay. No, oh, that's true. That's going to happen. <laughs> nah, that's nah, exciting. Nah. Well, it, it, anyways – See, he told me he wasn't going to say Texas, and then I was like, oh, geez. Well, but, uh, this is prep. So That's a we'll, good prediction. We'll, we'll question, though. So you think Penn State won loss? Um, Penn State won loss to Ohio State. That's gotcha. a really good loss. Yeah. And Sean Clifford's really good, too. They've got a, they've got a good yeah. thing going on over there. You got Penn State um, over Ohio State. Hmm? So you're no, going no. Penn? No, 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 no. He had no. Ohio State Ohio and State. Penn State. He's saying the Big Penn Ten gets State. two teams. Yeah, Penn State's going to be number three. Oh, you're, oh Ohio, Ohio State, State was your number one. Yeah. Gotcha. I think if Texas, like in this scenario, if Texas goes undefeated, though, I think they'll get the three in Penn State. Texas has the easiest spot, easiest path to the playoff. They just have to be good. No, they don't. Texas has the easiest anyway. path. They just, if they beat OU right. and win out, that's all there is. A Big 12 champ gets into the playoff. Undefeated Big yes, 12 champs in the playoffs. Yes, I agree, but you're not going and the undefeated. The Big 12 sucks outside of OU. Actually, you're that's not, not going true, undefeated. Did y'all see that TCU got Zach Evans? I think y'all are going to have one to two lo- two losses at least. No, one, maybe. Maybe one. TCU yeah. was Zach Evans, though. That's dangerous. Yo, but this is this is another thing, though. We're talking about all this. You didn't mention an SEC team. And it's funny you mention that because if there's not a college football season, which hopefully we, we will have, the SEC is probably going to play by themselves, crown a champ in Atlanta, and uh, have a season. Yeah, I, I like so that's that. Just, a, just wanted to throw that out. I'd I, like think, I, th- I think we'll get the season, but I'm really glad the SEC is going to do that if not. Because honestly, hate on the SEC all you want, and I do. SEC has really entertaining games. Yeah, their games are fun. I, I remember – sorry. No, go I remember show, I showed one of my friends, now I think about it, not really a friend anymore, like an SEC game for the first Wild. time. <laughs> and uh, he was like, dude, this is so much different than Big 12 games. <laughs> he was like, these Just are like more. animals. <laughs> no, Thanks. no, like no offense to the Big 12, though. Like when I say that, like I'm just, you know, I'm not, I wasn't using that as a time to like crap on the Big 12. I was just no, yeah. Remembering. But the Big 12 is on the come up, right? Because Texas yeah. and OU are obviously always the top two. Baylor's Baylor has been really yep. good. TCU is on the come up. I think it's another Iowa team State's Texas could good. lose to next year. Who? Baylor. Well, Texas lost to everybody last year, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, so no SEC teams. Why? Well, I don't think LSU is going to be as good with They're Miles Brennan. I think it'll take a year. I mean, that's that's um, respectable. But but and like then what about Bama SEC teams? Yeah, I don't I believe mean, Max Bama's Jones. always really good. But um, you think they're gonna lose games? Hold on. Okay, never mind. I caught up. Uh, I I just think that there's gonna be some growing pains with Bryce Young. Because I do you think they're gonna play Mac him Jones next year? Gonna, yeah, because I think Mac Jones is gonna start do horrible, and they're gonna put in Bryce. Yeah, they're gonna um, lose. So you think they're gonna lose a couple games, and then they're gonna have to put in Bryce? I I can see that because Mac Jones, I'm not a believer. You know he's Jerry no. Jones' grandson. Really, dude? Yeah, I looked that up the other day. I was like, "What?" I was like, "That's why he's starting." <laughs> yeah, honestly. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think I don't think Auburn or Florida is on that really? level. Uh, I think Georgia, I think we know Auburn. We get. Auburn is a team that I think could be a dark horse to win the SEC. You think so? Yeah, I think Bo Nix a year better. They're gonna have to deal with losing Marlon Davidson and Derek Brown. That's gonna be huge losses. Um, but they'll probably have some guys, you know, that'll that'll come back that mm-hmm. have learned under them that'll be pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think Bo Nix being able to beat Oregon, um, playing a tough, playing LSU the closest they did all year, um, in 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 Death Valley. Um, I think those experiences and beating Bama. Let's mention that again. Um, is yeah, loves mentioning that. Is, well, just no, but I mean the fact that you beat Bama as a true yeah. freshman. It says oh, like, yeah. like even even if uh, to be fair, it was really the defense that won the game. But I mean, they still had to score forty eight points. Like the fact that he was able to put up forty eight, or I guess it was forty one with a defensive touchdown. The yeah. fact that you were able to put up forty on Bama as a true freshman. I mean, he's he's got potential. Like he's going to be really good. Um, I think he'll be better next year. I think his peak will obviously be his junior year. 
Um, but I, I think that's a team that I could see um, – that like a dark horse, like I said, that could win. Yeah. That could be a surprise contender, maybe make the playoff next year. I'd say surprise contender that could maybe make the playoff, but definitely won't make the playoff. Two teams to watch would definitely be Miami and USC, just because I think they're going to have good years. Mm. Yeah. You think Tate Martell's going to take them to the promised land? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, a wide USC, receiver, maybe. I can see USC. I can see USC. I mean, Miami just gets so much talent. They have to be decent at some point, right? Yeah. No. Anyways, playoff Maybe. predictions from Spencer. Um, I'm going to go with some chalk picks. Yeah. Some powerhouses. Number one, Jar Jar Binks look alike. Trevor Lawrence, beautiful, long, luscious locks of hair. Um, they were <sighs> the best team in football last year, I felt like, you know, until, you know, they weren't. But I think <laughs> – all year long, and Jude talked about it pretty extensively, they got the sour end of the stick on all the rankings. Week in, week out. It was like blatant disrespect to the best team in They went 29-0, and 0, dude. <laughs> and every week it was like, okay, can we get a number one spot? You know, and... That, Considering we're the national champions exactly. and, you know have the same quarterback who dismantled Alabama as a freshman in the national championship, which nobody has ever done. And this is Trevor's last go run at it before he goes pro. So, and now he's lost. He's going to annihilate. So yeah. Clemson's my number one. Yeah. There's room for, there's obviously going to be a wiggle room on all of our predictions. Cause it's yeah. on, uh, may, but that's one where I feel like that's pretty solid. Boring like an off-season injury. I like I like clumps in there. After that, we're all gonna have them. Powerhouse, Ohio State. But I'm not gonna put in another, another Big Ten team. Just Ohio State, mm. like Penn State. Good point about Sean Clifford. But it's it, Ohio State's kind of like always flirting with with the with the the championship but they never like take it home they always like go out with it say what's up then then it never really goes anywhere ryan doesn't like bryce young i don't know why maybe because he's uh do you have something against him well i think i I think no what he's he's saying freshman yeah and and on top of that i think what he was saying too is that mac they're going to start mac jones and that's going to hurt them in the long run because even if Bryce Young comes in and kills it, they might already have some losses on their yeah. resume. So, All right. Well, I'm going to be optimistic. Um, Alabama's kind of like lost their – not their touch, but as long as they got the saving effect uh, and every NBA, every NBA, NBA. team, every NFL team Colin in the Sexton. World is pursuing, <laughs> pursuing him um, – I'm gonna put Alabama there, and uh, that leaves with those leaves us with one spot, Jude. Oh, Jesus Christ! That leaves us with one spot. Now the national champion, LSU Tigers, have an amazing case, right? No, like I, you're gonna say Texas, please. I don't want to I mean, hear this monologue. They did, <laughs> they did something that preseason. I don't think a lot of people were like. And they're doing the same thing this we're gonna, year. We're like, nobody was invested in them winning at all. Here comes this kid, Joey. <laughs> Good old Joe. <laughs> God, I love Joe. But this whole monologue, bro. Here he goes. He's on a tear. You know, Pain. he's never looked this good before. He's doing things that really history hasn't seen. It's special. He's doing things. The Heisman is his. Here come the Tigers. Roaring. These Tigers come roaring like a lion. They come. They see. They conquer. But what's different this year? That brave, valiant tiger, Joe Burrow. 
Oh, no longer <laughs> on the Tigers. Jeez. Now they're left with he's a, he's the a, remnants. He's not a bio, Bayou Bengal. He's just a Bengal. They're left <laughs> with the skeleton of what once existed in the form of Miles Brennan. Now, I'm not here to you know, bash on people, bash on games, bash on names. What I am here to do is say that experience wins out. And I'm here to say that Sam, I am the freight train. Fullback. The, the, the fullback turned quarterback. Turned, turned, back full, turned back to fullback when he goes to the NFL. At least you admit it. It's going to – the Big 12 is overdue. Okay. Oklahoma, for a real Baylor, team. Kansas. Big 12 Kansas. is overdue for a new face. Oklahoma, you're Kansas, done. Baylor. Here we go. Anybody else? Dude, I just this think you're insecure. Out the top four. I think that you're attracted to Sam Ellinger and you can't live with yourself. <laughs> Dude, I know. I have a friend who went to school to Sam Ellinger, with Sam Ellinger, and he said he was a total – Douchebag. I believe that, but he's still my quarterback. I he's still uh, your fullback. I was front row with him uh, before coronavirus at a post Malone concert. So he seems like a nice guy. Spence grabs <laughs> All right. Okay. So you have Texas, Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'll just. Theoretically, just undefeated seasons, everybody. Yeah. yeah. In a uh, Texas gotcha. could get in with no, I'm just loss. curious. Yeah, that's true. Texas could get in with one loss, too. Um, Nobody from the Big – well, I don't know. If anybody comes out of the Big 12 undefeated, yeah, they'll get in. Yeah. Man. All right. Well, mine's going to be pretty boring because as of right now, I just have the same teams as last year in – a similar order. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of boring here. LSU's <laughs> not getting in. I think I don't think They're that anybody. I, all right, They're okay. Not getting in, Jude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying with y'all. But all right, fine. You know what? Say it. I just, but I, you know, I don't think that anybody has as you know a powerful as an offense at the same time because we have Terrace Marshall and Jamar Chase, who's the best receiver in all of college football, coming back. Uh, we have Ty Davis Price and John Emery, who are more athletic, bigger, faster than Clyde Edwards Hilaire coming back at running back. And Chris Curry, if I might mind you, is the guy who dominated Oklahoma's defense. Um, a lot of offensive linemen that uh, left, but also we have a lot of offensive linemen that are five stars coming back. Miles um, Brennan has got a bigger arm than Joe Burrow. Like I said, there's, there's a reason that Miles Brennan had – Bigger, her had had a higher chance of winning the Heisman from Vegas than Sam Ellinger did. Never played a snap of college football. Um, well, actually, yes, he has, but never started a game in college football. He led, you know, a touchdown drive against Oklahoma, you know, and kind of just chopped them up down the field. Yeah, when everybody talks about it, that has been. <laughs> is he still talking about? <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I just I think Miles Brennan's going to get it done. Uh, he just was beat the, Texas A&M. He was in the Elite 11. We, we, we won 57, 50 to 7 last year, and that was one of the times that Miles Brennan threw a 50 yard touchdown pass against their defense when the starters were still in. Um, but yeah, and Racy McMath, that's another good receiver. They'll have two, three top tier receivers. Um, on defense, they've still got the best corner in the country who's probably going to play, <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's probably going to play receiver next year in Derek Stingley. I could go on about this. I'm not. I'm going to stop so this doesn't have to suffer anymore. But what I will say is, even though my Tigers, in my opinion, are going to be in, um, I think regardless, Clemson's winning the national championship next year. I'm back. I'm here to stay. So, so yeah. I mean, you got Travis. Travis Etienne came back. He would have been like a second round pick at least in the. He's an NFL yeah, that was running a shock. back. That was yeah. A shock. Yeah. Yeah, and Trevor Lawrence is about to like literally go on a death march because that was the first game in his career he's ever lost and probably the worst game he's ever played. But whenever you that happens, 
like he's yeah he's legit like they're gonna be like the the death star they're just gonna be like this imperial like march gonna be like dun 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 like and they're just gonna blow out everybody i think next season um and they're gonna Facts. eventually win the national championship so yes while i do think lsu is gonna make it next year at the same at the same time like i don't i clemson is my for sure like winner next year um i'm so proud mm-hmm. of you but yeah okay I think, and like, and I said that, like, after the, like, when I did the podcast after the national championship, I was like, if I had to make a prediction for next year, I think it'd be the same game, but. Um, well, that's good because it's, it comes down to that none of this matters because LSU's, uh, God, force habit, Clemson's going to win it all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we, are we all in agreement on that? No, I don't know. Yeah, we are. I think so. Okay, okay cool. Are. Yeah. Good. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, ser- and I'm, I'm genuine about that. Like I seriously, I don't think anybody's going to. Maybe stop we should Clemson title the podcast year. Clemson world dominance. Yeah. Or they Clemson. have, I think Clemson Imperial dominance. I think Ohio state could beat them, but won't. I, That's I, don't, the only think, team. I don't think, I don't think, I think Justin Fields is, they don't have JK anymore. And I think I that's going to hurt him. Um, I think Ryan day is a fraud. I agree. I agree. Anyone so. can look good when they inherit Urban Meyer's yeah. hard work. Yeah. Anyway, Justin Fields is good, but uh, yeah, I agree. I, I that is, I respect that opinion, Ryan. I really like that opinion. That is because, wow. dude, he's so. I don't like Ryan Day. Like, I don't really like him at all. Like, as a person, like he just seems like really Jackson. cocky and like just in general. Like a schmuck. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly exactly like and it was so funny because he's like we're the better team you know we're gonna win this game before it happened and then like when he lost you could just see on his face he was like raging like you know he was like, you could just tell easily. internally he was like i can't believe that i lost this is me 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 man he's like one of those wow. people who just like thinks he's better than everybody else and then he played mm-hmm. like Dabo, who's like just this genuine guy you know he's like i love all my players we're gonna have pizza parties before the <laughs> you know and so yeah. Bro, I yeah, want to think, party. I think Trevor Lawrence Heisman winner next year. They they have the best QB running back tandem in the entire country. Trevor Lawrence is going to be even more athletic. They're going to be able to run more read option. They're going to be really dynamic, and they're just going to beat the crap out of everybody. That's my take. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Cle- I think Clemson's kind of going to just yeah. I think that yeah, loss is really it. just going to. He's going to be like like he's going to be a he's going to be like like the trevor lawrence we know but now he's gonna have like an edge and he's just gonna charged he's just gonna beat the crap out of everybody (laughs) yeah like he's he's just gonna go ballistic i like that yeah there you go i enjoy this that take and and the reason that i had lsu in there also is just because i don't believe like i think mac jones is gonna play next year i don't think they'll play bryce young until um because you know saban like saban in a way is obviously more successful but like similar to popovich into where he's going to play, like, you know, he stuck with Jalen Hurts over to that whole year until they got to the national championship. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's going to happen with Mac Jones, but the difference is Mac Jones isn't as good as Jalen Hurts. And on top of that, I don't think they're going to have as good of a supporting cast because they lost a lot of their receivers. So they're not going to be able to bail them out. Um, And I think when, you know, he can't beat Auburn, I don't, I don't think they can, I don't see them really beating LSU. Um, I mean, they could, but I, with Mac Jones, I'm just not really a believer. I, I would see them winning, like, you know, I would see them going with, uh, two losses probably. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. All right. There you go. And until I see somebody other than Lincoln Riley, um, like I could be wrong. Oklahoma is probably the pick I'm least confident about. I will say that. Um, but at the same time, until I see, you know, Spencer Rattler is he's uh, somebody that that's another quarterback that is very highly touted. Um, and with what I've seen Lincoln Riley do with quarterbacks over the past like four years, um, I just, until I see somebody else in the Big 12, like beat Oklahoma, mm-hmm. like as in, like in a, you know, in a, like a national or in, in the big 12 championship. Right. Yeah. Cause they could go, they could lose in the regular season. We've seen that in the past, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. Until I see someone like dethrone them, like I'm not going to, you know what I'm excited about? I'm, not gonna I'm excited this. that I can actively root against and despise the OU quarterback again, because I liked <laughs> Jalen hurts a lot yeah. and it was tough. And but I, liked Kyler I cannot stand Spencer Rattler. 
Yeah. Why not? Just that I don't know anything about him. Um, I'm just curious. I just look at him. him. Couldn't stand him in high school. <laughs> what do you not like albinos, bro? Like what, dude? No, <laughs> no go to his dude, Instagram. His Instagram. He was, go to he his was Instagram. just the biggest douche ever in high school. Read his bio. Read his captions. Just yeah, he's how he okay, that, talks know, to people. He's that guy. God, he's just okay. I got you. Everybody. Well, dark horse Auburn at the four seed. I could see that. One loss to the Tigers, and that's, you know, I mean, they're Tigers too. So three Tigers in the playoffs. Ooh. Yeah. That obviously no, shows if, me if I, I think if Auburn got in, it'd be over LSU. Oh, I, I was saying, I was over. saying them as a dark, dark horse as a one loss team. No. Like two SEC teams getting in. Uh, yeah. But they could also, they could, if I had to pick somebody other than LSU to win the SEC, I'd go Auburn. And I wouldn't honestly be that mad. I like Auburn because they despise Alabama as much as I do. So if they beat us, I'll be like, GG, GG. I'm rooting for you in the playoffs. Actually, no, I'd probably root for Clemson because I, I freaking love Clemson, honestly. There you go. All right, boys. I think that's going to have to be a wrap this, for yep. this week's edition. I'm exhausted and I have another show. I got to some do. money moves to make. <laughs> I'll be on that one too, right? Yeah. We have a, this yeah, will be a fun one. Oh, gosh, we're double dipping. This is going to be interesting. We're going to have to go have with fun with that. <laughs> we'll be double dipping. All right. Any last words before I close this out? No, sir. All go right. Tigers. Well, this is been, thank you all for having me on. TM no J. Always love that. TM no J. TM, Tucky, we always love having you on. Yeah, I think you're my favorite guest of all time. One of my favorite guys that I know today. So God bless, Ryan. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we've been the Splash plus the Jude Tucker McLaren. You've all been wonderful. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time. And watching. We'll see you next time. Gang.